Hi guys, welcome back to Detailing in the Beast. This week we talk about this. This is the green monster towel from Clint Career. So I know what you're already thinking, oh, it's just a video about a boring towel. Yes, it is a video about a towel, but this towel is far from boring. Let me explain. And stick around because during this video, I'll give you the chance to win your very own. So this is the green monster from Clean Career. What makes this different? Well, it's got a high density polymer coating on it, which I've actually found is polyurethane resin or artificial rubber, if you like. So the original microfiber cloth gets dipped into that PU coating and that makes it incredibly strong, durable and flexible at the same time. It attracts a hell of a lot more dirt, but makes it easier to wash at the same time. So primarily it's used for removing brake dust, dirt and oil from your alloy wheels and tyres but it's got loads more uses and we'll go on to that later on. It's 36 centimetres by 40 centimetres so weirdly that messes with my OCD a little bit. Um, it's four centimetres off square, that, that's just a bit a bit odd but, but there you go. Um, and it's got a really nice clean career imprint in the bottom corner. The Green Monster is another one of these Just Add Water or Jaw Cloths. These are featured on my channel before. I've had a Jaw uh, Glass Cloth that you supposedly just add water and that's all that's needed in this case to clean alloy wheels and tyres. I found that the Jaw thing does actually work but it, uh, I prefer to use this with chemicals now um, and I've used this with a hell of a lot of chemicals so I've used it with Wheel shampoos, tar and glue removers, fallout removers, citrus washes, wheel cleaners, acidic and non-acidic. And this thing stands up to them all. It takes an absolute hammering, it really does. Now I've had this one for, I don't know, maybe maybe about six months, maybe a little less. Um, and I just wanted to try it out because I'd seen I'd seen some good some good feedback online, but I hadn't seen many YouTube reviews, so so I thought I'd do one for you. Um, I have actually bought another one this week. So this is this one, uh, and I've got another one in the cupboard. We'll come on to that one in a minute. So I use mine now pretty much exclusively with the Garage Therapy One Wheel Shampoo via an IK Foamer. And the, the One Wheel Shampoo and the Clean Career Cloth are an absolute formidable partnership. They are, they are an absolute beast of a partnership. I find that using this thing with the wheels, you actually do a better job than with a brush. Brushes have a tendency to miss areas. You get a little bit more intimate using a cloth with your wheel. Intimate, probably not the right word, but you know what, you know what I mean. So you get, you get really into them wheels and you find yourself not missing areas. So I find that this actually does a better job and it probably takes just about as long to do a wheel as with uh, wheel woolies or an easy wheel brush. One other thing I found with this when you're doing your wheels is you can get right behind them spokes. So I'll put a little overlay on now, but you can literally drag this behind your spokes and move on to the next one. Something you will never ever do with a wheel brush. Um, yes, you can do it with a wheel mitt, and I have got wheel mitts myself, um, but I just find that this does a really good job. And I've actually found that when my wheels are lightly soiled, I don't need any brushes, I don't need a mitt. All I need is this green monster my one wheel shampoo via my IK Foamer, job done. So as I said earlier, it can be used for other jobs as well. Basically anything where you've got horrible towels. So, you know, you start off with a microfiber like that. After a couple of washes, it ends up like that. A couple more washes, it ends up like that. And in the end, it'll end up like that. And you end up with a lot of these towels, um, which are literally good for nothing. And uh, you'll end up using them just for exhaust, just for engine bays. You're wasting microfiber after microfiber, whereas this, yes, it does stain, and we'll show you that in a bit, um, but it does clean up incredibly well. Um, but this can be used on sidewalls, on the tires. Um, it's especially good for those with crazy patterns like these. In engine bays, all components, plastic arches, wheel liners. Um, I've even heard of people using it on carpet arch liners. I haven't got any carpet ones to test it on myself, but I've heard that it does a really good job on carpet, carpet arch liners. I've heard it's good in doors, door sills, boot jams, exhaust tips. I, I literally reserve mine for the plastics on the engine 
and my wheels, and that is it. Um, as I say, I've used this probably 10 times now, so 40 wheels, and it's as good as new. It's absolutely perfect. It's a brilliant, brilliant cloth. It can also be used on really dirty interior jobs. So on the things like the Land Rovers, um, even on the Rangers that have got the plastic foot mattings in there, you can use it on them as well. Um, so perfect for you 4x4 guys. To maintain the cloth, it's recommended that you wash it at 40 using a dedicated microfiber wash. Um, no fabric conditioners again, same as all your other microfibers. Um, but don't put this in with your best. Um, by nature of it, you're getting a hell of a lot of dirt off the wheels, brake dust, fallout, all the crap and mud that goes with, with your tyres and your, and your wheels. So don't put it in with your best microfibers. Keep it separate. Hang it up to dry afterwards. Don't tumble it either. I think that's something to do with the PU coating on there. You don't want to expose that to, um, to a hell of a lot of heat in the tumble dryer because I think it might shrink. So this is a brand new green monster. As you can see, it's got the clean imprint in the bottom corner. And when this gets wet, it's kind of like rubbery, like a like almost like a wetsuity type material. And as you can see underneath, this is my my old one. Um, this is actually still slightly damp. It's just come out the washer, but you can see you can see the staining that has occurred on there. Um, this isn't dirty. This is stained. Um, but they will get like this. Um, that's been stained since probably the first four weeks of having it. Um, absolutely fantastic cloth. And the form hasn't changed at all. Still looks pretty much identical to a brand new one. So, after all that, how much is this awesome cloth from probably... The best detailing cloth brand in the world, okay? Clean Korea, they're, they're known for being absolutely spot on with everything they do. How much? £3.95p, yeah. Uh, absolutely phenomenal value for what it is. Um, overall, for four quid, this is a real monster. For once, here is a product that actually lives up to its name. It is an absolute monster. This cloth is virtually indestructible. You're only ever going to need one. I bought two originally. Uh, one was still in the packet in the cupboard. And I got another couple from Into Detailing last week with, with a new shampoo. But you're not going to need them, okay? You're not going to need them. This thing, it's, it's a juggernaut. It's going to keep going and going and going. It's an absolutely fantastic cloth. And for four quid, just get one, okay? Just get one, see what it's like. If you don't like it... Just chuck it away, but I'm telling you now, you will love this cloth. It's absolutely fantastic for four quid. But you don't have to spend four quid because one of you lucky lads or girls is going to get this one. I'm going to send you this out. I've bought this. None of this stuff's been sent to me. I've bought this. I'm going to get it posted out to you just for a little competition prize, just a little something to say thank you to one of my subscribers. So how do you win it? Well, Detailing and the Beast has a new Facebook page. I will put a, a little caption of that up here now. You've got to go and find that Facebook page. This video will be on that Facebook page. You have got to publicly share that video on your Facebook timeline. Come back to this video on YouTube and comment done with your Facebook name. Okay, so done Dave Flint, for instance. Okay, on your Facebook timeline, you're going to share this video publicly. In a couple of weeks, I'm going to do a little video that is probably going to be on the Facebook page or my Instagram at Ford Ranger underscore Wild Track. And there we will reveal a winner. I will be checking. If you haven't shared this video publicly, you will not be winning this prize, whether you get drawn or not. So make sure you follow the rules, guys. All the terms will be under this the, the description of this video. So go and read them if you're unsure of anything I've said. You then get drawn out of that hat, I'll contact you, I'll find you via Facebook and Messenger. I'll get your address and I'll post this out to you for absolutely nothing. You'll get this for free. Good luck, go and get sharing. Thank you for watching. Catch you on next week's video. Goodbye.